Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of AITaekwon.com. My name is Sumit and here I'm with my new video in Salesforce. And in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you that how can we generate and use the QR code in Salesforce without writing any single line of code. So as you all of you know that QR code uh, or it, we used to call them quick response code. Uh, it's a type of a two-dimensional barcode made up of matrix of dots. And especially this QR code, it contains information in the form of strings, characters, and can be scanned with a QR scanner or by using our smartphone cameras. So there are many use of QR code. It basically it is used to the, the generic use of a QR code. Uh, it is used to provide a link to the company website. It is linked to a Google map to provide the direction. It can be used to redirect your audience to the social network account. Uh, it can be linked to a PayPal account to allow people to make mobile payments, or it can be it can be used to point to the app stores to download any application. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you that how to create a QR code and attach with our account object in order to scan and whenever we scan that QR code, it will redirect to a to, to, a, to that website account website. So for this, let me quickly show you we required one application. So in App Exchange, we used to have a ready to use application. We will be going to download that application from the App Exchange. And that application name is barcode and QR code scanner. So we have to download this application barcode and QR code generator. Uh, it's a free application and as you can see it supports 100 plus different barcodes format and as you can see these are the different formats so whichever format you want while setting up the barcode we can configure that so what we have to do we have to click on get it now and begin the installation in a system so i'm going to install this application in my salesforce platform so I, uh, i'm going to give permission to uh, to install that application. So I already assigned permission. I would like to install this in this org. Check the terms and conditions. Confirm and install. And I would like to make it available for all the users. So click on install and the installation will begin for this application. So this is a free app available on the App Exchange. Anyone can visit to the App Store or the App Exchange and can download this application. It may take some time to complete the installation. So you can see the installation is successful. I click on done and close this app exchange. Let me refresh the application and I'll just cross check whether this uh, that app has been installed or not. So we can just, I can just check it from here also. Installed packages. And when we just go to package and install package, you can just check it out. That application has been installed, that barcode and QR code generator. And in order to configure this barcode and QR code generator, because now it's time to configure this, first we have to configure this barcode and QR code generator. And then we'll be going to add this application, this app on our object. So I'll just click on app launcher and search for barcode, barcode config. I click on barcode config. So so now you can see this barcode config had been opened here. Now in this barcode config, if I'll just go and check right now, we don't have any configuration. So now it's time to configure a new barcode setting. And uh, I'm going to click on new. So I click on new button in order to configure a setting. So first of all, we have to assign a configuration name barcode configure name. So I just say test barcode config. That's the name of a barcode config. The second, we have to specify the object name on which we would like to assign this. I would like to attach this barcode. So this is the, uh, we have to specify the API name of the object from which the barcode data is taken. So I would like to map it with the account object right now. 
and here we have to specify the field name from that object on uh, that field will be visible from in the barcode so we have to uh, enter the name of the api of the field from which the barcode need to be generated so on account object like on account object we got a website field and i would like to map it with a website field so basically i would like to display the website uh, in a barcode so let me check the api name of that website field so if you are not sure about the api names just go and check the field name and the field name is website see this so i'll just copy this field name and paste it here then the barcode type you can click and select the barcode type as you can see we have almost 100 type of barcodes and right now i am interested only in the qr one so i just select qr code scale x2 2 by 2 and we have an option to download the format to download the qr code so i would like to give for me and i would like to assign permission to download the barcode in a png or in a jpg format many times we would like to share the barcode to the whatsapp or through social network so that other users can access it so i would like to download the barcode in the form of png or jpg click on save so barcode config is done now it's time to deploy this barcode on the object so how do i do that steps are very simple you have to first navigate to the object and in this object click on edit page and we'll be going to place this barcode in the detail section So as you can see, we are getting a custom of the managed package QR and barcode and QR code generator. So I drag and drop this barcode generator here. And we have to configure the setting. So it's, ask, it's asking for a config name. And this is my barcode config name. So this config name I need to map here. Uh, no need to assign record ID. Reason being, uh, this, this tool will automatically take the record ID from the URL, save this, activate it, and I just make it available for org default. I believe all of you know about this activation thing and click on back. So the configuration has been done successfully and now I just wanted to test it. When we go to details section right now, you can see there is no website URL coming up because there is no website assigned. So now let's suppose I'm just creating a new account. Let me create a new account for account name. Let's say AI tech one phone number and uh, website. Read and click on save and once we save this you can see the qr code is generated with the website now in order to testing if we download this we can download this in a jpg and we can scan it through a mobile phone so if you want to test it you can scan this qr code from your mobile phone camera and it will redirect you to my company website so that's the way we can configure the qr code in salesforce without writing any code. So that's all in this video. If you have any questions, you can feel free to contact us on the given numbers. You can reach out to us on our, to our email. If you like this video, don't forget to like this video. You can post your comments in the comment box and do subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the updates on the uh, new videos uploaded in our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.